Ladies, defaults, we are gathered here today to not somber or sorrow, but to remember, reminisce, and dive into the bittersweetness of superstardom. The ones who have lost their it factor, the ones who were once the most significant in the headlines, in the lives of others, in heavy rotation on the musical realm or superstardom. But this video will really focus on the musical aspect because that's in my head superstar. But obviously the world has changed all around us. Music has changed. And a lot of booty shaking and stinky sex making. You know, it's whatever, but nothing hits harder than a good old so join me as I dive into their stories and what the heck happened to them. Did they deserve to go out? Was it self-inflicted or was it sabotage? Find out today on Disney Channel. Alright though, real quick before we get into this, I do want to thank y'all for the support on the last video. Yes I sir. Saw yes, sir. Coming, so thank you. You know, don't, don't gas your boy up. Our first superstar is none other than the man that had us moving and grooving, okay? Come on. Hold on. Come on. Back to the big, big round. Well, his catalog is very much self-explanatory. I mean, he just got hits. So like, you know, the things that I know him from, New Edition, to songs like that one that I just played in every little step. I think that's one he sang, right? <laughs> and some of you may be like me, not really knowing who Bobby Brown is or not knowing who he is at all. And to sum it up for you, he was really just a part of the new Jack Swing era wave. And also, I think he was on, was it the Ghostbusters track or the Batman? Either or, he was just around. He was really around back then in the 90s. Um, I take my eye off Bobby for one second and then boom, he's Santa Claus. <laughs> what the freak? He needs some milk. But what happened to bro? Like I seen, I seen this pic, this video of him at a concert. Him, <clears throat> I know that'll be Devoe, Poison, one of the brothers. He moving like you know, he's still in the '90s. Bobby, Bobby's struggling. But <laughs> as y'all keep watching, y'all will see the common theme with this stuff is like age. But like, come on, bro, bro got Whitney and just was like, I made it in life. But you know, he also did get Whitney in that little drug addict. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So looking at how he looked i mean the public image that he portrayed to everybody and then me seeing him i was just like hell not nah. like <laughs> and maybe it was a sign of the times too because you know everybody in the 90s basically got put on a shelf and was like thank you 2000s please we need new we need new you know people america everybody fiending for new everybody want the new gadget new thing so i'm saying sign of the times maybe the reason why his touch has faded stamp let's keep moving forward you guys remember how i just said sign of the times like three seconds ago yeah this next person, superstar, former, whatever, yeah, she was signed of the times because I didn't even know she was like super duper that popular because obviously this was the decade that I was just born in. Beautiful me. <laughs> but yes, uh, Miss Britney, bitch. Yeah, Miss Britney Spears, the woman that took the world on for a storm, you know, with all them hits. My only man is me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, now I'm supposed to discuss her rise to fame, but I don't even know how she got up there, to be honest. Girl, how you get up there? Come tell me a little secret. Like, let me, let me. Judging by what I found out, it looks like she suffered pretty much, you know, mental health, custody battles, divorce, you know, the, the human side of things, the things that happen. Only other thing I knew, though, was that they, uh, mute her mic all the time. Cause I'm guessing if they didn't, she'd probably be like, my lonely name is killing me no actually my father's killing me um, my manager's killing me my, my, my kids are killing me i i just can't do this anymore i i can't do this i'm like and i'm with you i lose my mind give me a sign i'm gonna give y'all a sign i quit and y'all all suck and i took y'all money and i got y'all men uh, watching me wishing he was me wishing that he had me but i don't even wish i was me i'm, I'm tired I'm, I'm i'm tired okay Sure, something like that along the lines is what I believe what would happen if Britney had her mic allowed for herself. So if you're in a money doesn't buy happiness argument, go ahead and bring up Britney Spears. You'll probably be ignored, but at least you'll know that it didn't buy Britney. <laughs> Wait, it did though. <laughs> now this next person do not need no interrupt. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. <laughs> now this next person do not need no introduction because I am not a fan at all. <laughs> Bro, I ain't no fan. Uh, I ain't no admirer. I whatever. I ain't no fan. Her name's Madonna. <laughs> There's her intro. <laughs> okay, okay. Let, let's gather ourselves together 
for the brethren of the Lord. Okay, please. Oh, geez. All right, so this clip right here I got is something that I do admire. Not because it's Madonna, it's because she used one of my favorite songs in a sample, but she made it her own. So I'll give her that. That's probably the only thing we're going to give her. So now let's go take a look. All right, we're just going to keep this in 1.5 speed because she is a little slow. Let's go. Oh, 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 oh. Go, I go. Go, I go. Go, I go. Ah, ah. You better. Uh, 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 uh. uh huh. Right, Michael. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty good transition. Like how her, her team, they made it her own. Not only if it stopped there. <sighs> In fact, I think I have somebody better to tell you more of a shocking and interesting story, including this former pop star. And it is no other and better than. Me. <laughs> Madonna claps back at ageism and misogyny. Womp, womp, womp. The former superstar's career is best described as controversial. And judging by the looks of it, it's something that she's usually fond of. Unfortunately for her, her long stretching career of 30 years plus has also went to the skin on her skeleton. Madonna's recent appearance in the Grammy's 2023 award show left viewers riddled with concern. She goes on to Instagram stating, once again, I am caught in the eyes of ageism and misogyny. And you know, blah, 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 all that good old victim mentality. She goes on to blame the photographers for poor pictures and bad lighting. But I'd say she should be grateful that someone was willing to put their life at risk just to capture her cosplay of Jigsaw. Oh. This just in, we've got exclusive footage of Madonna's upcoming world tour. Take a look. All of the lights. Thank you for acknowledging my ability. The blatant misogyny. Sexism. Oh, sorry, wrong footage. Well, that was underwhelming to say the least. Kids, if you're out here watching, don't be like this deluded grandma that is stretching her face farther than Silly Putty ever will. Thank you, Jefferson, for covering that story. I know it was probably hard to do the research and uncover those nauseous pictures, but thank you. We all, all salute you very much for doing what you did. <laughs> now, many, many Americans have dubbed Madonna with titles, uh, a sex symbol, uh, queen of pop, this, that, and the third. But let's talk about the real queen who don't really give a damn by no titles. And I might be biased for saying this, but this woman is the mother, mother goat, okay? And she's none other than Miss Janet Jackson. Oh. Honestly, this video came about because of a comment that I saw under this live stream that I did when I went to go see her. Yeah. Holy moly, y'all. I'm at Janet Jackson's concert. <laughs> Asking me just to do a concert review. Super big fan of the catalog. Her albums with Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, like those are super meaningful and convey a message and story. Something that inspires me very deeply. And just how young she was when she embarked on all this stuff. Yeah, it's just like things that I really admire. With all that being said and all that was done and made in the amazing long span career, whatnot for decades. Yeah, that wasn't enough. She still got cut and we all know what for. One, being associated to Michael. Ugh, yeah, that's a hot take. But being associated to Michael and um, Super Bowl. Duh. I almost forgot myself. So I'm not going to get into those. What really does matter is how she bounced back. Because unlike the former people that I mentioned, and Lord, I even forgot to say that Britney Spears, her videos, yeah, they all be like, oh my goodness, is Britney okay? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Yeah, um, no, she's not okay. <laughs> nah, she probably is, whatever. It don't matter. She's like, she's dancing, she's trying, but like, she got this image now where it's like, is Britney okay? Let's save her. Moving on. How Janet bounced back. Oh my Lord. Because I didn't really even know her like that, to be honest. I only knew her because she made a song with Michael we made it together I was like oh look Michael Jackson making a song with his sister but now that I really know Janet's like Janet Jackson 
was nice enough to make a song with her brother. It's like she was bigger than him at one point. Like she didn't need to say all that. She just let the greatness speak for itself. Yeah, that's why I love the lady. Somehow I stumbled on some of her music before she dropped that documentary, and then I'm listening to her music. It's growing on me. I work out to it. I'm just doing my thing with it, and then documentary drops, and I just become super big fan. Fast forward, she announces that she's going to go on tour. And I was like, damn, I gotta go. Like, I was trying to pay the $400 ticket just to be like, there. But then obviously life, you know, things are happening. Money's being spent. And by the time the concert's coming around and she's coming to my town, I was like, there's no spending money. I can't really go. But fortunately, you know, God made a way. So I was able just to go. My ticket that I did purchase was low-key cutting near the nosebleed. But I sat somewhere else. So <laughs> Shh, don't tell the ops. Janet, I ain't, I ain't do that. Even though I knew she couldn't hear me, I was screaming her name. I was like, Janet! Like I was letting them, I was letting it be known. Like she just moves with grace, like posts when she wants to, shows appreciations to other, and I mean she inspires a whole bunch of people too. Saw that Scott Jackson dressing up like Janet for Halloween, and Holly Bailey basically looking like Janet Jackson too. I mean it's just great, and I just look at the way she handled adversity, her old tours, and all this stuff. The great thing that she built for herself. I know I already said this, but I'm gonna say it twice. It is inspiring. It is like it's just amazing. We rock with Janet. If you J Fam, bro. When she said, I was like, bro, who the hell is JFam? I don't know if she's been calling her fans that, but we got to keep it real this video. I'm not trying to be on the glazing donut that I'm already eating. So, yeah. But I'll be the one to say this. For her age, I mean, she gets a lot of heat anyways. And people are like, you know what? Don't even get back on the stage, you old head. But she like, I don't give a damn. And I'm glad that she don't give a damn because I definitely give a damn to see her and listen to her music. Like, being there... And watching the video on YouTube is a different experience. Maybe because the speakers is booming, but it's like a whole atmosphere, sea of fans, just like people who know her music. And I'm like, y'all not my people, but y'all my people. Like we on the same wavelength. And the outfits, oh geez, they were great. Mm, of course, like the gold and purple, not a lot of people could pull that off because it's just glittery. But she made that work. Uh, the dancers were great. I was, I had my eyes on dancers for real because I'm like, y'all got it. They're, giving energy and of course for her age she was moving man and bruh i don't give a damn about her and she could show up and just sing like we're here just to see you regardless of what you put on the money's already spent so the music mixes were done pretty good whoever was killing it back there with the band or whatnot and here's another funny side story just to give to y'all when i told you i wasn't in my seat because i was <laughs> i wasn't another lady also she spent like 50 dollars on her ticket and then snuck down to where i was at and was like is anybody sitting here i was like no so then when she took the seat and janet starts performing like one of her second songs and i'm just screaming my guts out and she's like i've been a fan of janet since you were born oh my voice gonna be gone Yeah, we were just vibing, and then a lady comes. She's like, um, no, 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 no. You're my seat. You guys gotta go. You guys gotta go. You guys gotta go. No, 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 no. I was like, bro. I was like, you have your seat. Like, of course, like. But once again, I bought my ticket two days before the show. Like, I really didn't know I was gonna go. See, I was just looking for where to sit because you can't be in the aisles. So then this lady who spent like $50 on her ticket <laughs> basically snuck down to the middle section. And I was like, oh, let me just, let me just just grab me get inside i was like yeah yeah we winning you know what i'm saying w women's but as the fourth act was approaching they were trying to kick this lady out then this lady gonna look at them point at me and say he's with me he's with me don't kick me out he's sober like they were trying to kick her out because of drinking i was like uh, uh. and they're like you're with her both of you guys come on because you know security was just rolling up and i was like damn 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 so to wrap that up we did end up staying and then i got to see her do her rhythm nation act which was great man i just love that rhythm nation album and here's a clip of me going berserk while she's doing this segment from a song called the knowledge When she performed the song When I Think of You in an earlier act, I was definitely tearing up. It was just very, very cute just to watch her do that song because she said like it was her first number one at 19. So it's like she fell from high grace or whatever, but like she didn't lose her inner grace and she just vibing. Inner is caught. So yeah, looking at that, I just know exactly how I feel about the things I want to do and ain't no way about it. So that's one superstar that ain't ever gonna fall from grace because you know she got people all around like me. Touching on another artist who I really know most prominently for his features, but I know he probably, you know, had a pretty good run 
because he was pretty popular in the 2000s. Jay-Z, Mr. Sean Carter, you know, HOV to the ISO, people, Illuminati man, whatever. They can't deny what he's built and what he has. So he's definitely an artist just to mention. He currently isn't dropping music like he used to, of course. Um, he is focusing on being more of a faithful husband, a loving dad. <laughs> uh, yeah, Jay-Z doing his thing, but not in the music game. Oh, bars. Bro, Jay-Z, are you watching this? Like, come on. But anyways, um, really he ventured off into other formats of business. And bruh, heard he's like a billionaire. It just goes to show music isn't like everything like some people place it as to be. Regardless, how I see it is nothing's end all be all because at the end of it's all, God will be. <laughs> oh, yes! oh man. Jay-Z, Jay-Z, seriously, are you watching this, bro? <laughs> but aside from the music, Jay-Z always just been old. Huh? Like, ever since he was born, that face never changed. <laughs> but you know what Beyonce says, she like her knee with the Jackson 5 nostril, so. For this last one is a girl group named SWV. And I saved them for last because their music just gives off this vibe of... Bro. <laughs> Bro, the, the music gives off this vibe of nostalgia. Like, I'm telling y'all, when somebody play one of their songs, most likely a bunch of people doing a step snap i know mm, 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 mm. ha hey ha hey ha like i'm so into you weak in the knees i can hardly breathe like all them good little jams and the whereabouts right now not too sure about but what i do know is that recently they did do that genius video and hearing their voices i'm acting like i've been knowing them since the 90s when i was really born in the 2000s but just hearing their voices again just oh, brought back memories oh, makes me feel like an old man just ha 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 but yeah they sounded great that's just uh what i really wanted to say about them i also feel like they were probably a sign of the times group i don't know if it's that la face or baby face records the people who were managing soul for real the candy rain people which i don't have the time just to cover them in this video i'm probably not going to cover them we're just going to say like they're also sign of the times and also like the jackson fives without proper training so they all became like greedy and money hungry that's also a big factor on uh, a bunch of superstars downfalls greed and worldly things just why stay grounded in your faith and scripture so you don't end up uh trying to live in die for the world so now if you've made it to this part of the video i bet you have realized that no matter how rich no matter how famous these artists deal with their own personal struggles and can't avoid the thing called life because when god call you just to go you gotta go you cannot say wait heaven like michael tried to say when he was singing to him and i'm not making this video like oh i hate fame and never wanted to i, I can't but see it. more so to touch on the fact of the fleeting nature of fame and whether or not somebody will be wanting to embrace change or stay the same and if you're trying to stay the same hmm, people gonna leave you behind and vice versa if people want you just to stay the same it's gonna hurt you in the long run because you're gonna have to make that change one day or another man in the mirror you know what i'm saying <laughs> okay well we seriously need to wrap this up Will the creators of today be forgotten tomorrow? Well, speaking for myself, hell nah. But only time will tell if everybody, all of us, us YouTube creators will face sign of the times treatment or if we're just gonna lose our touch and we just do the voodoo creators just lazy ai is taking over <laughs> all right though that's it for me thanks for watching we'll see you on the next one